Hi everyone, welcome back to eCircuit and thanks for subscribing to our channel. I just want to make an update of what I'm up to since my last video. There's still a lot of works to do with my workbench, especially setting up the fan panel interface, writing a software to control the power supply and other instruments, and especially our lighting which caused some flickering, especially when doing some video. Everything has not been set up properly yet, but at the moment, I'm doing some prototyping on LCD backlight LED tester. So this circuit is, it produces, I'm um, using a constant current source, which um, when you test an LED strip, it gives you uh, roughly uh, 30 milliamps of constant current. And it also show you the voltage drop across the LED, which is a uh, 2.13 for the red LED. And you can set the the constant current to 50 milliamps so you can test any part of the LED strip it gives you 40, 43 milliamps or so 8.7 volts drop here you have a 39 or 19.9 volts drop so the maximum voltage is 60 volt supply for this one I am planning to power this one up with a 9 volts battery into a 5 to 60 volts boost converter but I, I find it difficult to find from Aliexpress for a module so possibly I have to build my own boost converter from 5 to 60 volts at least 2 watts and also an isolated DC DC converter from 5 volts to 9 volts to power up our voltage current meter when you have a single LED, you have the same current. You set it to 29. When you short circuit the, the probe, you still have 30 milliamps or the whole strip, you have 30 milliamps. So the good thing with this one, it has a constant current regardless of how many LEDs you wanna test. So because of the, the feedback current will saturate the transistor or increases the collector current. And would like to show you the temperature when we saturate the Transistor. I have blown already four power transistors here and two small signal transistors. So we'll blow up another one. I'll, I'll show you. Short circuit this one. And we set the current to 50 milliamps and we'll see what the temperature is. So you see the temperature is quickly gone up. We'll see the magic smoke. 70 degrees. 75, 77, 80, 82. 89 90 degrees it's almost 100 degrees 101 100 and 110 115 degrees the current increases and the smokes gone okay Ooh. so what i'm going to do is we're going to replace the transistor it also damaged our this is the for the measuring the the current on the emitter feedback on the emitter so we're going to replace the one as well and we'll also replace the transistor with the one with the heat sink and we'll see what it does so currently we replace the transistor and we'll try to test the full strip it's working now so with one led it's working now we should circuit this one and we have 40 or roughly 50 milliamps so we'll see what the temperature of the transistor we already mount into the heatsink so currently it's 34 35 degrees so we'll set up our timer we'll say how many minutes before it reaches uh, 50 degrees
it's 44 degrees 45 46 48 so that's about 50 degrees so it's about 30 we'll see if it's still going up we'll go up to one minute at least and we'll see if the transistor can survive but you don't want to short circuit the, the probe for at least a minute right so should be okay okay one minute so that's all good so it's quickly dropping the temperature it reaches, reaches uh, 60 degrees centigrade so this is just a, a quick prototype of my backlight LED tester strip the good thing with this one it can test any LEDs if you have 3 volts LED roughly you get about 18 a maximum of 18 LED strip or if you have 6 volts LED roughly you will have around 9 LED in one strip that you can test so this is really good because it draws constant current it won't damage the LED and also you can set it to 30 milliamps which is lower constant current so I still have a lot of work to do especially with lighting I have to do some modification the lighting I'll show you what is the modification and how would I reverse engineer the circuit and modify the circuit to have a very constant lighting without any flickering it prevents me that stops me from doing more videos because of the light so I'll have to fix the lighting first and then we'll do more videos in the future and we'll do a full project on this one I will explain to you all these calculations how would I calculate so I will write the software to simulate this one so you can easily enter the values that you want and you can see what is the current that draws into the resistor into the transistor into the LED so you can see how much power you need so that software will be uploaded into one of my maybe Google Drive or OneDrive so you can download the software and install it into your computer but there will be a disclaimer of the software currently I am purchasing more parts at Aliexpress so stay tuned in the future videos and thanks for watching and bye for now